3D printers are starting to pop up everywhere. Everywhere! Especially after Obama's shout out during the State of the Union. 3D printing. And now, rapid prototyping and small scale manufacturing in home and office settings is becoming an everyday occurrence. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Except... What? A study by researchers in the Built Environment Research Group at the Illinois Institute of Technology has measured the aerosol emissions of commercially available desktop 3D printers. Uh-oh. Well... The extrusion process, heating thermoplastics like ABS and PLA, is known to have substantial aerosol emissions in industrial environments. And... So, it could be assumed that a desktop 3D printer with a similar extrusion process could have similar issues. The team reported 11.5 to 116 nanometers in total ultrafine particle emission rates from the operation of two types of commercially available desktop 3D printers inside a commercial office space with both PLA and ABS materials. Mmm. Fumes. By comparison, the researchers estimated the total UFP emission rate for a single PLA-based 3D printer was similar to that reported during cooking with an electric frying pan. Bacon? The same 3D printer utilizing a higher temperature ABS feedstock had an emission rate estimate similar to that reported during grilling food on gas or electric stoves at low power, but a magnitude lower than gas or electric stoves operating at high power. According to the paper detailing the research, because most of these devices are currently sold as standalone devices without any exhaust, ventilation, or filtration accessories, results herein suggest caution should be used when operating in inadequately ventilated or unfiltered indoor environments. Right? I've been using my electric frying pan in the house for years, and I'm... fine. Is that blood?